Before we begin if this is the first time you visit to our channel, you consider to subscribe. Trust Dr. Channel Dr. Ez. Overview Newborn Jaundice. Jaundice is a common and usually harmless condition in newborn babies that causes yellowing of the skin and the whites of the eyes. The medical term for jaundice in babies is neonatal jaundice. Other symptoms of newborn jaundice can include yellowing of the palms of the hands or soles of the feet, dark, yellow urine, a newborn baby's urine should be colorless, pale colored poo, it should be yellow or orange. The symptoms of newborn jaundice usually develop two to three days after the birth and tend to get better without treatment by the time the baby is about two weeks old. Yellowing of the skin in newborn jaundice. When to get medical advice. Your baby will be examined for signs of jaundice within 72 hours of being born as part of the newborn physical examination. If your baby develops signs of jaundice after this time, speak to your midwife, health visitor or a GP as soon as possible for advice. While jaundice is not usually a cause for concern, it's important to determine whether your baby needs treatment. If you're monitoring your baby's jaundice at home, it's also important to contact your midwife straight away if your baby's symptoms quickly get worse or they become very reluctant to feed. Why does my baby have jaundice? Jaundice is caused by the buildup of lilirubin in the blood. Lilirubin is a yellow substance produced when red blood cells, which carry oxygen around the body, are broken down. Jaundice is common in newborn babies because babies have a high number of red blood cells in their blood, which are broken down and replaced frequently. Also, a newborn baby's liver is not fully developed, so it's less effective at removing the lilirubin from the blood. By the time a baby is about two weeks old, their liver is more effective at processing lilirubin, so jaundice often corrects itself by this age without causing any harm. In a small number of cases, jaundice can be the sign of an underlying health condition. This is often the case if jaundice develops shortly after birth, within the first 24 hours. How common is newborn jaundice? Jaundice is one of the most common conditions that can affect newborn babies. It's estimated 6 out of every 10 babies develop jaundice, including 8 out of 10 babies born prematurely before the 37th week of pregnancy. But only around 1 in 20 babies has a blood lilirubin level high enough to need treatment. For reasons that are unclear, breastfeeding increases a baby's risk of developing jaundice, which can often persist for a month or longer. But in most cases, the benefits of breastfeeding far outweigh any risks associated with jaundice. Treating newborn jaundice. Treatment for newborn jaundice is not usually needed because the symptoms normally pass within 10 to 14 days, although they can occasionally last longer. Treatment is usually only recommended if tests show very high levels of lilirubin in a baby's blood. This is because there's a small risk the lilirubin could pass into the brain and cause brain damage. There are two main treatments that can be carried out in hospital to quickly reduce your baby's lilirubin levels. These are Phototherapy, a special type of light shines on the skin, which alters the lilirubin into a form that can be more easily broken down by the liver. An exchange transfusion, where your baby's blood is removed using a thin tube catheter placed in their blood vessels and replaced with blood from a matching donor, most babies respond well to treatment and can leave hospital after a few days. Complications If a baby with very high levels of lilirubin is not treated, there's a risk they could develop permanent brain damage. This is known as kernicterus. Kernicterus is very rare in the UK, affecting less than one in every 100,000 babies born. There were seven hospital admissions for Kernicterus in England.